In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HTML title attribute to apply titles to various elements in your HTML, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. Now, an attribute is just a way to add extra information to a tag. And in this case, the title attribute will add a title that when you hover over that element, that title will appear. So to get started, we have a basic HTML page that I created here. It's output in the browser below, and I want to add a title to this paragraph tag. So I'm going to say title equals open and close quotes. This is my awesome paragraph. And that is all there is to a title attribute. I saved it. I'm going to refresh down here. When we hover over this piece of text, that message is going to appear in that small gray box that appears. Depending which browser you use, that box may be light yellow. In this case, it's gray. You can add title attributes to links as well. I'm not sure this will work because we already have a title in the overall paragraph, but we'll try it. This is a link. Let's save that, refresh this page, hover over that link, and that title does appear. It says, this is a link. So that's titles. Uh, titles have often been used for SEO, HTML titles. Nowadays, if you put too many keywords in your titles as well as throughout your page, it's considered keyword spamming and you'll be penalized. So it's not a common practice anymore. That's what it used to be in the past. Uh, these days, titles are rarely used. However, now you know how to use them. So that's how easy it is to apply titles to your HTML elements. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.